Hey everyone, John back with you for another stretch video today. We're going to get straight into things with a good bit of a movement flow to start off, and then we'll bring ourselves back into a little bit more of our static stretching as we go through. As always, you're just going to need a mat or a clear bit of space. You might want a yoga block or a thick textbook if you've got one around, hard back boot will also do. Just helps with support some of our positions for today. We're going to start on our hands and our knees today. So once you are ready, just join me on the floor. All I'm going to ask you to do is take some deep breaths in where you're going to round your back up as much as you can. Tuck that pelvis and as you exhale, you can let everything drop down. It does look like I'm pushing to the floor just now, but in reality we're just letting everything relax as you come back and forth. We're going to spend a minute just now with these deep breaths in, curving that back. If it feels particularly nice, hold it for a few seconds. And then let that exhale happen, and let that drop of the back and the ribs happen. And that pelvis should keep on moving back and forth as well. We're going to go for another 15 seconds. Remember that deep breath in these last 10. And that big breath out as well. One more time. Alright, from here we're going to keep ourselves and our hands and our knees. I'm going to ask you to do, you're going to take one hand, you're going to thread it through between floor and shoulder, deep breath in, deep breath out, up and across the other side. Just slide it back and forth. Just that purposeful pause. And with each pause, your shoulder is down to the floor, our arm is really threaded through. We get that deep breath in the neck. Join me once more on either side. Okay, that next one we are going to bring ourselves to our press up position. We're going to pull a few moves together here. So we're going to push those hips up, we're going to pull the shoulders back, and a bit of pressure in that down dog. Lift forwards, we're going to step the right hand up and outside of our feet. We can get that stretch into the back of our hip and thigh. Back to our down dog. And then drift to the other side. So we're just using that down dog to pass from one position and one side to the other. Just keep ourselves flowing back and forth. Trying to hover this back knee off the floor today. Letting those hips sink down towards the floor as we keep moving. Just once more on either side. With that big step. Take one last down dog. those hands and knees and we're going to pull our hips back towards our heels just now. Rather than these arms staying long off in front, we're going to show the palm of the hand to the ceiling and we're then going to touch our hands back to our shoulders. And this is going to be the first of our static stretches. So as we hold these positions, all we think about is our deep breaths in, big inhale as we go and our deep exhale as well.
into our arms. Just a good stretch in the back of the arms, shoulders and upper back to the earth. We're going to move now to be able to stretch out the hips as well as the bum. So what I'm going to ask you to do, you're going to take your knee or shin through in front of your hips just now. If this is enough of a stretch with long arms, we can stay up here, that is absolutely fine. If your flexibility allows you to, we can drop down to those floor arms, or we can drop nice and low to the floor as we are here just now. So deep stretch into those hips. Again, taking those deep breaths in, and our deep breaths out is gonna help us here. Building those arms up, lifting our chest, taking that knee away, shin away. Maybe just a few extensions, maybe you need to roll the ankle, whatever works for you. From here, I'm going to ask you to do, we're going to go kneeling. As we are kneeling just now, we are going to just push this hip forward until we feel a stretch that is in the hip on the front of the thigh. Hold it for a few seconds, and then we're going to drag our hip back, and we're going to lengthen our front leg so you can get our stretch as long in the back of our thigh. And we're just going to go back and forth, so we're coming up with the chest, we're pushing forwards, so we hit that position, we're feeling our stretch, and we're 
kind of drag the hip back, lean in so we get the long stretch in the back of the thigh. Just gently coming back and forth, feeling time with me. Or if you want to spend a little bit of extra time in your stretch on either side, you can go in your own rhythm. uncomfortable on the knee, the hip, the ankle. I'm just going to ask you to go to your side and we would just take a hold of the top of that foot for a little bit of an easier stretch. So whichever position is going to work best for you just now, we're just going to move in and we'll take a minute on the front of our thigh for that deep stretch. the opposite side, if we're then just taking a hold of the foot that is, we'll set up to the opposite and once we're ready, on we go back into that stretch, front of the thigh on the opposite side.
Again, we're going to bring ourselves out from this stretch. And lengthen that leg. You just shake everything off again, rolling those ankles out if they're feeling tight after that stretch just now. For our next one, I'm going to ask you to do, we are going to bring our feet, so the base of your feet are together, our knees are pushed out to the sides. You've got a couple of options. You can either push those elbows into your knees to get a stretch in the groin, or we can take a deep breath in, we can breathe out, and we can lean forwards. Now we're not too fast about rounding our back on this one. Try not to purposely round it and pull yourself in, but do it to be able to relax into your stretch. That is going to be your priority just now. We're going to spend the last few minutes a little bit more active rather than holding our positions. So if you come back to your hands and your knees, you say it will be similar to how we started earlier on. So just now we're going to have our hands wider than our shoulders, wider than our mat. And we're going to get a nice flowing stretch back and forth in our chest and our shoulders just now. So hands are wider than our mat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push my left shoulder and chest down towards the floor and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to flow across to the other side. As you can see with that right arm, I'm looking to keep my arm straight as I push the shoulder down, the opposite elbow can bend, you can get that flow back and forth. We're going to come 
back down from our down dog to our hands and our knees. And similar again to when we started. Take a deep breath in, round the back up. Breathe out and then drop down to that child's pose. Again, deep breath in and out. Up to our hands and our knees. Deep breath in and out. Down low. Let's do that sequence of like three times from here. So rounding the back. Dropping the hips. Two times through from there. Last one for today. Another stretch session done. Again, hope you feel better. But when we started, enjoy the rest of your day.